the two biggest fears of a historical novelist, or at least of this historical novelist. Um, one is to write something that is historically absolutely impossible, right? That is to say, you haven't done enough research, you don't really understand what that period was like. But the opposite is also true, that um, you can do too much research. That is to say, you're so excited about what you've learned about the period that you want to cram it into the book in what the editors call the info dump. Right? Mm -hmm. So you get these long passages of narration that are not moving story along, or even worse, speechifying dialogue in which characters are saying things that they would never actually say to each other because you want to tell the reader something really exciting. So my work is to create a captivating and plausible story in which the characters' experiences stand in for larger historical ideas. So what are some of the key things I want to convey? Well, the history of wet nurses in this period, right? The desire for fresh milk mm -hmm. meant that you wanted to find a woman whose own child had just died. The nurse's experience is actually fairly typical for this time period. Um, the effect of plague and its aftermath. When Mercutio is dying, he says, not once, not twice, but three times, so you really got to listen, a plague on both your houses. Well, those of you who know something about plague in Europe know when plague come, first comes to Italy, 1348, it kills 40, 50 percent of the population. And so I set the play in the aftermath of that. It's been 10 years since the plague. The nurse has lost a, a set of children, six sons, who died in the plague. Because I'm really interested in what would it be like to live in a society with such huge loss and really trying to make sense of that loss in the, in the aftermath. Um, and just generally women's lives in medieval Italy, right? So uh, one of those things is thinking about how birth happens, the, the parto room, the talismans that were used for fertility and health, the use of wet nurses, which they thought would keep a wife from having her, uh, being from becoming tainted, that the, the sex with the husband would taint a woman's milk. So you don't want to be nursing while you're also having sex. So that's why you send somebody, you send your child to be nursed with somebody else. We might know that actually it just makes you more likely to have another child, and if the culture is devastated by the plague, you want to have as many kids as possible. 